Get the fuck out of bed, bitch, go. Good morning, fellow pioneers. So here we are, Tuesday morning. I have an 845 appointment at the orthopedic surgeon. You know, I'm feeling so good. I'm basically going to try to talk this doctor into telling me that I don't need surgery. I got most of my range of motion back and probably half my strength back. And I'm not really walking around in pain and I really don't want to have surgery, but I got to listen to the doctor. If he tells me it's going to be a bad outcome without surgery, I'll have surgery. But all right, so here we are. We're going to go to Santa Monica. We're going to see the doctor. But uh, here we go. Nice little $65 lift ride. Yay. Okay, so here we are. It wasn't really such a bad ride, even though there was a lot of traffic. Let's see what the doctor has to say. So I'm here, I already spoke to the nurse and she made it pretty clear that I'm gonna get x-rays first. So I think that's really good. So x-rays first, so I'm not gonna have surgery like right away. I'm obviously gonna have to come back for x-rays, but now I'm just sitting here waiting for the doctor. The nurse or the, the nurse or the intake person was pretty smart. I said, I, I hurt my, I broke it on my scooter. I don't drive regular scooters though. And she said, oh, not like one of those Lime rental scooters, right? And I was like, you know what you're talking about. I drive fast scooters. How you doing? Yes, sir. Nice to meet you, buddy. Good to see you, ma'am. It's crazy seeing all these cycling jerseys. Everybody told me they broke their collarbone on their bike. So it's a very funny thing, I think. But they did it when they were 10, not 52. <laughs> oh, we're gonna do the x-rays right now? Yep. Oh, fucking awesome, dude. Cool. Alrighty, guys, I'm actually getting the x-ray right now. It's fucking awesome. That's a good idea, protect that shit. You can't protect my balls. I'm sure you right? <laughs> guys, so we got the, uh, we got our x-ray right away, which is freaking amazing. I'm a little nervous about what the doctor is going to tell me, but talk about service, man. I just walked in and totally on it. It's very cool. So Curlin Job Orthopedic, the fucking best. Thank you, sir. That was awesome. All right, so I guess now we're back in the original room and we're waiting for the doctor. Hey, Dr. Sell. How you doing, man? So I know I'm excited to see you. Oh, okay. How are you? All right. Uh, it's not your x-rays, but what happened? Well, I drive electric scooters for a living. Truth is, I don't know what happened because I was knocked out. Okay. Completely knocked unconscious when I hit the ground. I actually have video footage of the paramedics scraping me off the ground because I was wearing a GoPro. Okay. So I guess I fell here here and then broke my collarbone obviously yeah. you've seen the x-ray yeah. so yeah i wasn't even going fast and i just kind of my brakes locked up and i just went straight down but it's been over a month now yeah it's been like i, I it's been october 11th it's hard to forget the date yeah. so it's been like seven weeks Let's take a look at your yeah go for it you can touch it it's not it's not sensitive so if i push on that it's not bothering you too much no How's your motion doing? <clears throat> I have like 95% of my, I'm also a yoga teacher for my whole life. So mobility and stuff like that, I think it's paying off now. But now it's, I have probably like 95% of my mobility back. Okay. So if this was fresh, I would have absolutely recommended fixing it. Of course, yeah. Um, the difficulty is it's shortened quite a bit. And I don't see much healing on your x-ray, but clinically you're doing well. Okay. So I don't think I would change course at this point because trying to fix it now is like, it's really hard. That's what I was, you know, obviously I've been thinking this whole time uh -huh. and that's what I was worried about. Like, yeah. you know, I, I did this to myself because I didn't have insurance when this happened. I got insurance okay. after, and obviously the next day you get the surgery if you have insurance or soon, but, um, or if you need it, but I feel like I worried that if I went this long, right. like the, the surgery is like harder or you know more difficult. It, it is significantly harder. Okay. It's scarred in, and trying to get your link back, it because it's basically like this right now. Yeah, yeah. And getting the link back is almost impossible. Okay. Okay. Um. Now, question is, if it doesn't heal, then what do we do? And I don't think we're at that that bridge yet. Okay. Um, but 
it might come up. And if that happens, then if we ever had to operate on this, which I don't think we will, but if we okay. had to, then it would probably mean shortening the clavicle and putting the ends together and okay. putting a plate on. <clears throat> but I don't think that's necessarily um, the right answer at all. Okay. Because you have good function. Yeah. You're going to have some weakness in the shoulder because, you know, our, our muscles are optimized to work at a certain uh, anatomic length of the clavicle. And if it shortens a lot, then we lose a little bit of shoulder strength. Okay. Um, whether that's enough to make a difference, uh, it's hard to say. Okay. Uh, it's measurable, but may not be uh, something that you notice on a daily basis. Uh, so I don't think I would do anything different for now, but we have to keep an eye on it and make sure it heals. Because okay. if it doesn't heal, then we will have to talk about it and decide if it's worthwhile doing a reconstructive surgery. Okay. Um, but since you're, you've actually got pretty good function, I don't think I would do anything. Um, and you think I'm okay with like, I've already been for two weeks exercising it, like very lightly, you know, like what you call rehab. Uh, should I continue on that, like I, that path? I would try to minimize any sort of like weight bearing on okay. it. Um, Cause it, the more motion is, the less chance it has of healing. Okay. Um, once we see some more healing, then I think it's fine to, to do so. But okay, so leave it alone. Just keep training my legs and leave yeah. this alone. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, so I should come back like in a month or something? About or? a month. Yeah, we're just like okay. waiting for it to try to mend together. And hopefully it will. Um, so when you say it hasn't healed, you mean like the actual <laughs> bone is not attached to whatever bone yeah, it's close to? Yeah, you can see the ends of it. But and usually when it heals, you feel you see this big cloud of white stuff okay. as it lays down cartilage and then it remodels it into bone. Okay. Uh, but I don't see a whole lot of that going on. I just see the ends of the bone and it's quite shortened compared to the last X-ray, but no, no like bridging of that gap. Okay. Um, so we'll see. I so, mean, the the chance of this healing, like in general, is about 85 percent chance. Okay. So I like those. those I do think it, does, it needs time. Um, and, and we'll see. I mean, even the ones that don't heal, though, like, a lot of times people do quite well. You know, unfortunately, like, a lot of patients, I read shit online, and I did read, like, a lot of stuff how, like, this type of break, which is broken in two spots, it's pretty bad that half the people just walk away from it after a few months, and they're yeah. generally okay. Yeah. And I'm hoping, like, as an athletic 52-year-old, maybe I'll be lucky, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah. even right now, the fact that you can do this is... Yeah pretty interesting it's pretty good <laughs> i'm telling you 25 years of yoga practice man you're in shape i know you work out so uh yeah well, i'm happy to i'm really happy to be your curl and job i know you guys are the freaking best so i guess i'll see you in a month right <laughs> yeah and and really and really but seriously don't exercise it right because in my mind it makes more sense to like start moving it but i should yeah. just leave it alone uh, i would try to minimize motion okay uh, it's it's like the reason why we cast things and stuff is to, to keep it from shifting so it has a chance of okay you know, i'll just leave it alone I, I will listen that's the main thing is otherwise i'd go home and i'd be doing like three pound laterals and yeah, you know <laughs> none, none of that okay okay maybe in a month though we'll see okay cool, cool all right can we get a picture together from my youtube channel really quick is that okay obviously i'm going to take the doctor's advice i thought it was a good idea to start rehabbing this but he tells me not to move it because i'll go back in he tells me to limit the amount of work i do with it because I'll be going back in in about a month to see if the bone is healing. And if not, yay, reconstructive surgery. That doesn't sound so fucking good. Guys, I appreciate you following the channel. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, leave comments, ask questions.